In this session, let us understand how to parameterize our scenarios in Cucumber. And before we do that, let's understand why we need parameterization and what is it actually. So let's take a look at this particular scenario that uh, we have been looking at since last couple of sessions. And over here, when we take a look at this when statement here, it says I search for iPhone 11. Now let's say we have another scenario that searches for some other item. But when we look at the step definition for this over here, this particular step definition is kind of very much hard coded to search for only that particular item. So during our testing, let's say we want to search for 10 different items in our 10 different scenarios. So do we need to have 10 such methods, like 10 such step definitions, which are actually searching for those like I search for iPhone 11, I search for an umbrella, I search for a Barbie doll and every time we are going to hard code that particular item name or whatever item that we are going to search. It's not a very good way of writing code. These kind of scenarios where we can pass data through some variable, through some parameters, we should always use parameterization in that case. So over here, the simple way to parameterize tests in Cucumber is just put single quotes like let's say I want to use any string in place of iPhone 11 over here I want to use any string not just iPhone 11 I should be able to pass any string and that string should be searched like if I quickly go to eBay like over here, it should be able to search for any string, not just the one I'm hard coding. So as soon as we change this to single quotes, this particular thing is now considered as a string, which should be used as parameter. Now we need to go back to our step definitions and make a simple change. And that is over here. I am now inside the eBay home step definition file. And I'm going to remove this hard coded value that is iPhone 11 to something like string. Now I just added curly brackets and inside the curly brackets I'm writing in small case string. Now this particular when statement will say I search for any string that would be passed over here. Now, the way we can use this particular string over here is using a string argument. We can call it anything. Let's say string str1. Now, this str1, we need to pass it over here instead of hard coded value of iPhone 11, which we were searching before in the eBay search box. Now, whatever value is passed through the program, through the scenario, that particular value will be searched over here as simple as that now this is the way we can pass on a string value now let's say we want to parameterize an integer let's say this is 1000 which is an integer and i want to parameterize this particular step as well for different scenarios i can surely have different numbers like let's say i'm searching for some item which has list count of only 10 or 20 so I should be able to change it in another scenario. So that can be done by again, simple thing. We need, we no need to pass on single quotes. If it is a number, Cucumber will automatically identify numbers and we can parameterize those. If we add the single quotes or double quotes, then it will be treated as string by default. In this case, if you want to treat this parameter as an integer parameter, then we can leave this as is and go back to the step definition and simply make a change as int over here. So at the place of that particular integer, I'm creating this curly brackets and writing int. And over here again, for this particular method, we need to create an integer argument. Let's say int count. So this particular value will be taken inside this count and then it will be utilized from over here. So instead of hard coding it to 1000 always, 
now it's parameterized to whatever value we will pass through our gherkin scenario right so let's take this p2 and run it through our runner let's make sure there is no difference in terms of how the scenario was getting executed before and after okay it's done and scenario is executed all three steps are passed now what is the benefit of parameterization let's say we create one more scenario just for example i'm going to call it as search item count 2 and i'm going to utilize this whole scenario again but i'm going to make a few changes over here like instead of searching for iphone 11 i'm going to search for something else that is uh toy cars and now my validation is a little bit different let's say i want to make sure I have more than 100 search results present and you see now as we have parameterized these two steps for a different type of scenario where we have different data the same step definitions will work we don't have to create new step definitions also another benefit is whenever we want to change this data in future we can always change it instead of iPhone 11 let's say next year i want to go for iphone 12 or whatever new stuff is going to come i can just update it over here and also update this particular account as well so let's say quickly let me make it something else p24 and let's quickly try to run that particular scenario and again we have added no step definitions for that it's going to reuse the step definitions that we created for that iphone 11 scenario okay i guess p24 this particular scenario has multiple scenarios tagged so we got two scenarios executed let me see yeah this one is the first yeah okay so it actually executed two scenarios because this particular tag was added to two scenarios from two files so that's fine but this particular scenario again we can see it's executed and passed so we can see your two scenarios executed six steps passed and also in the j unit result we can see from these two files these scenarios got executed and passed okay so this is how we can parameterize test if it is a string only a single quote or double quote for the value which we want to parameterize we can add a single quote is fine or a double quote is also fine mm, that's quite a thunderstorm and if it is a integer then we don't have to add any quotes over here and if we are going to parameterize a string we have to make sure we write string in all small case in the when or then or given whenever we are parameterizing that step and for integer we'll just say int now the question is what if we have multiple values that we want to parameterize as part of one step let's say as part of this step we have multiple values then how does it work so let's create a scenario let's go to eBay and let's try to create a scenario something like that let's say I search for something and I change the category to something so we have two parameters let's say scenario search an item in category okay so given is going to be the same and when i'm going to modify it a little bit when i search for so let's quickly go and check what other categories let's say we have a baby category over here hey guys if you like these videos you may also like my fully fledged courses on java selenium and cucumber bdd links are given in the description so do check out so we'll do something like when i search for soap in 
baby category so now what we have we have two parameters as part of one step and let's just skip then over here okay let's just see how we can parameterize this one so for this part to create a quick snippet what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it true for this dry run over here and let's give it some tag let's call it as 240 and let's quickly run that 240 so we get that snippet generated all right so it's again going to be the same thing i search for string string and look at this one over here when we pass the parameters now there are two parameters instead of one there are two so the way it works is the value from the first parameter goes to this first argument of the method and value from the second parameter goes into the second argument of the method okay so we're just going to copy this snippet go to our step definition file and again let's create our code so I'm just going to reuse this part over here so we are going to input some value that's going to be this string and we want to select some value that's the baby from the category so let's automate it and for that I'm going to use crow path and in the categories this is select category this is a search box so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use something like let's say select so let me start with this and inside that i'm going to look for option so that i get the collection of all the options that is this 36 matches and then we are going to use selenium to get the collection of all these 36 items and then we are going to click on the specific option that is the baby option which we want to select over here so let's create a list of web element okay we need to import both this list and web element let's import the list from java.util and web element from selenium let's call it as cat is equal to driver dot find elements by x path and this one over here so what we are going to do is all the options from that particular drop down we are going to take all those inside this particular list which we are calling as cat and then we are going to apply a for loop and we are going to go through each option until we find the one which we want to choose from that particular select box so it will be something like for each object in the collection of objects okay, this is a little bit of selenium that we are doing here for each web element let's call it as x in the collection of objects that is cat okay so what we're going to do if this x dot get text dot let's also trim it dot equals now if it equals to this particular thing over here if the text of a particular item is similar to what we want to choose you know this string 2 is actually going to pick up value from the second parameter over here so if let's say baby that is the option that we want to use in this particular scenario when we are going through the list of web elements which are nothing but the options over here when we get a particular option that is baby in this case we want to select it so we'll simply say x dot click and we want to exit so we want to break this particular loop so what's happening here again quickly we are going to take the collection of all the options from this drop down and then applying a for loop on this particular list for each web element in the collection of web elements if the text is what we are looking for then we will click on that particular option breaking out of the loop and for this thread.sleep I'm just adding a seconds wait 
after we are searching for an item just because after we search let's give it some breathing time to pop up all the results that's the only thing so that's it what we did we created a step which is accepting two parameters and then for that particular step the method that we have also accepts two arguments the value from first argument goes to first sorry the value from first parameter goes to first argument value from the second parameter goes to second argument and rest of the part is is mostly selenium okay so it's okay let's skip then method here okay uh, you can create some validation later on and add then i'm just going to run this particular scenario as is okay sorry so i did not change it to false here so it was a dry run true so it just skipped now we can see it will actually launch the browser and do the testing for us so soap in the baby category okay as i was looking at it i don't think it actually selected the baby option that we were looking for i think we need to click on that list something like this before it select an item we want to make this list populated for this so let's do one quick thing here let's do something like driver dot find element in this case by xpath and all i'm going to use is this this one and make it click the category name that we are specifying is actually all small that's the issue and that's why it's not selecting so we can either change it over here let's say like baby with b uppercase or we can either make a change over here we can make it to all lowercase before we check something like this to lowercase and dot to lowercase over here so now it will become non-sensitive to the case so it doesn't matter we put baby or like anything like that this should also work right now let's run it quickly okay now it's selected all right so now it is selecting that baby thing and i don't really think we need this particular click it was actually the the case over here earlier the core was case sensitive and that is why it was not finding but now as soon as we added this two things like making it lower case so in a way we kind of made it case non-sensitive like ignore case kind of thing and then now we can say it is selecting so this is all java and selenium part but main thing to understand over here is how to parameterize steps we can have multiple parameters the same would work for three four parameters but that's very rare i have seen steps with like two or three parameters at the most if you have any questions let me know in the next session we are going to see very important topic again that is how we can add a step data table we can like let's say if there are two three values we want to pass inside a step it's okay we can create parameter but let's say there are multiple values let's say there are five six values we want to pass so it is not very feasible to add those many parameters and we can always create a simple data table for a step and then step can pick up data from there okay how to do it Again, very, very important, very important from interview point of view. We are going to see it in the next session.